Hi, basic router configuration. Today I decided to record a short video and show you how to set up a basic home router. Uh, in my situation I'm going to show you this router. Uh, links is uh, WRT 54G, uh, okay, a very popular router. Well, it used to be. Now it's uh, it's not that popular, but uh, it doesn't really matter if it's Linksys or the latest latest Netgear router. The idea is exactly the same. So things that they are go that you are going to learn, you should be able to apply to all home office small office uh, routers. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to connect a router like this to the internet, uh, how to secure your wireless connection and we'll try and forward some ports because this is a a very common question how should I access my PC or forward some ports for my games or IP camera and so on so I will try and show you how to do that okay so first of all that is zoom it in okay so that is the back of this router there are four LAN ports, so local area network, so ports that we can use to connect our PCs, laptops, IP cameras and so on. And this is a WAN port, wide area network, so this is a port that should, uh, you should connect a cable uh, to your, for instance, uh, cable modem, your ISP, your internet provider. Okay? So the first thing you should uh, do when you open a box, you should throw away the CV that they gave you. Okay, so we'll use uh, a web browser and we'll browse to this uh, router and set it up from scratch. That's the best way to do that. Uh, and I will show you everything you should know. Okay, so we take, I literally took a cable and I connected it to this port and uh, to a laptop that I'm connected to at the moment okay the first thing you have to know is what IP address was assigned to your PC because all home uh, office routers like this Linksys will arrive as a DHCP server so it means that an IP address will be given by this uh, router to your PCs okay so to do that we have to go to start and type cmd okay that will bring uh, this window okay and here we have to type ipconfig okay and we are interested in a section similar to this one okay and that is the IP address that was assigned by our router and that is the IP address of our router default gateway. That's the IP address that we will have to type in our web browser. Okay, so let me open. So, 192.168.1.1. Okay, now, username and password. Okay, uh, well, it all depends. Okay, uh, sometimes it will be admin, admin, admin password, admin 1234, admin nothing, okay? So if you are not sure, you can go and check in uh, on the internet. Of course, you don't have access to the internet at the moment. Uh, so it should be included in uh, the documentation that arrived with your router. Okay, you can always try admin admin, admin password, uh, admin 1234, and admin no password okay so we are connected to our Linksys router that's the IP address of our router okay and the first screen allows you to do some basic configuration that's what the name indicates okay so the first thing I want to do I would like to change the name of this router let's say London one okay any name you want, it's a local name. Okay. The IP address I recommend you should not change. Okay? 
because there is no need for that. If it's a brand new router, it does not matter for you. Uh, DHCP server, just leave it as it is. What I like to do, I would like to decrease the number of DHCP users, something like 10. Okay, so up to 10 devices can connect to my network. Just a small security uh, option. Okay, uh, here, least time, I'm happy with one day, it's fine. Okay. Right. Now, let's take a look at the top of the screen. We are interested in this section. In most cases, that's what you want to have DHCP. It means that all IP addresses and settings will be sent by your ISP, okay? But you've got some more options. Sometimes you want to have a static IP, okay? And sometimes it can be PPPoE, okay? But in most cases that's DHCP and we should, you should leave it like this if you're not sure what to do with it. Okay, uh, so I'm happy with 192.168.1.1. DHCP. That's good. Okay. Now, wireless. Okay. A very important section because for sure you will try and connect uh, to this router with uh, wireless. Okay. So, we can leave it as mixed. So, it's B and G. If it's the latest router, it will be N as well. Here, we should change the SSID. That is the name of our network something that you will find on the list when you try and connect okay so let's say test one I recommend you should change the channel okay remember with uh, a router like this channel 1 6 and 11 are available really for you if you check if you go for 3 or 7 uh, it will not improve anything so let's say I will go for one okay broadcast just leave it on because you will be able to see this uh, wireless network okay save settings okay so wireless now a very important tab wireless security we have to have a password a lot of routers like this one will arrive with uh, all wireless settings this security settings disabled so it means that at the moment everybody can connect to my router without any password okay we should use WPA personal sometimes they will call it WPA2 PSK preserved key and will be asked uh, it's good to go for AES but you can leave uh, TKIP plus AES if it's an older device so let's say I want to use AES only and uh, my password. Okay? We should not touch this section unless we want to do some more advanced troubleshooting. Okay? Remember at least eight characters here. Save setting. So our wireless network is ready. Please bear in mind it's a basic router configuration. So uh, firewall on most routers will be on by uh, default. So that's what we should leave. Now let's go to administration. Okay, we should change the users, the the router's password. Okay, because uh, it's admin. So everybody uh, knows. That's really basic, yeah. So let me change that. HTTP. That's absolutely fine. I'm good with all these settings. Okay. You log in again now using my new password. Okay. Status. Okay. This is a screen. 
that will allow you to see uh, if your router is connected to the internet okay uh, so what I will do now I will pause the video and will connect this router to my router and uh, show you what to expect in this area okay back let's try and refresh the screen here we are okay so I received an IP IP address it's a private IP address so because I, I don't want to connect it directly to the internet you would so in most cases you you will see a public IP address that's not really important for you at this stage you can see that uh, you we have received an IP address a subnet mask at a default gateway and a DNS server so this router is ready to go so it means that we can uh, access the internet at the moment okay port forwarding okay a very common question how should I forward some ports how should I uh, make it work okay so how should I uh, enable some ports for instance for my IP camera and so on okay so let's go to access just a sec applications and gaming here we are okay so that's what you're looking for port forwarding okay sometimes it will it will be called NAT sometimes it will be called port forwarding sometimes it will be called uh, gaming options it all depends what what router you're on but you will see a very similar screen to that one you will have a field to enter your name port number and an IP address some routers will have a list of pre-configured ports like uh, SMTP for emails or RDP for remote desktop and so on okay so let's start with the IP address Okay, this is the IP address, your local IP address, uh, and uh, it's recommended that it's uh, that you put a static IP address over here. Okay, so it means that uh, your laptop, your IP camera, uh, your NAS server, whatever you want to access from the outside, should have a static IP address or or a DHCP reservation. Okay, because a dynamic IP address can change. For this presentation, I will not do that. Oops. But my, my IP address is 192.168.1.2. Okay, so I want to open some ports. I want to be able to access this IP address, this laptop, from the outside world. Okay, so that's dot two neighbor protocol it's TCP or UDP if you are not sure you can leave both but I know I want to open TCP and I want to open port 3389 okay and I would call it RDP laptop okay so what I'm doing here this is just just a description name the first port I want to open and the last port if it's just uh, one port, as you can see, 3389 to 3389, okay? TCP 192.168.1.2 is the destination. So it means that, let me save it for you. So it means that at the moment, port 3389 is open and uh, everybody can access my laptop using RDP and RDP stands for remote desktop protocol so it means that I can try and connect to my laptop from the internet RDP is not the most secure way so you should be careful using that but a lot of people do so let me do that okay so that's our that's uh, uh, that's a remote desktop connection okay <coughs> That's, that is an application that is available on all Windows uh, PCs. Okay, so let's type 172. What was the IP address? The 
on the number. Let's go to status. What is my public? Public is 22. Okay. So 22. Correct. And I'm connected. Okay. So I was able to RDP to connect to my PC from the internet. Of course I simulated it with another router, but the idea is exactly the same. Okay? So applications here. Name, port, so first, last, and the destination IP address. You can do it for an IP camera, okay? So if you want to HTTP to it, so web browse to it, you should use port 80 because that's web browsing. And here an IP address that you assigned to your IP camera. Okay, let's say 22. Okay, and excuse me, remember that on some routers you have to enable it. Okay, thank you very much.